Hello, the practitioner here again. Um, this is again my, uh, this one is for my answer to the um, face the candidates option. Uh, talking to the candidates, how should we reform education in America? You're probably getting countless of videos, but um, first things first, I think there are two major issues that we seriously need to discuss. One is this uh, movement of trying to get creationism back into science classrooms. First things first, as Michael Shermer quite clearly pointed out, one of the good things he did, I might add, um, he said that people should be able, uh, science students should be learning what is best in peer-reviewed journals. Therefore, I have a suggestion to be able to um, amend the entire problem between creation versus evolution, and hopefully we can get this uh, system out of the schools. One, keep creationism out of the science classroom because of the fact that it doesn't appear to have like any scientific theory or peer-reviewed, uh, you know, peer-reviewed articles, that sort of thing. However, I do believe simultaneously we should put a general religious studies class in the uh, in school as well. And I know the atheists are going to have a field are going to have a field they're trying to debunk me with this, but hear me out. If we put a religious studies classroom in there as well, which preferably covers general religions and covers a lot of things, including creationism, this way, and even maybe covers atheism a little bit, then this way when they're presented with science on the one hand and then religion on the other, then it'll be so far detached that then they, they can hyper compartmentalize and make up their own minds that way. You know, it'll, they won't be being flooded by too much information in one fell swoop, so this way it'll give them a little bit more time to think about what they're actually getting. The third, now here's, this is the, um, my follow-on to this point, it's the second point which I believe should come in. There, um, most colleges, and I know that my uh, local unit, the local college I go to uh, also teaches one, it's part of the philosophy courses, they have uh, something called Introduction to Critical Thinking. Um, now I know one English teacher at college who also teaches the critical thinking fallacies and all this sort of thing in uh, class, but what I believe should be happening is in addition to, um, this is my own personal opinion, take it for what it's worth, um, in addition to English class, science class, you know, reformed religious studies class, what, uh, podium, what have you, there should be an introduction to critical thinking class, which hopefully tries to string together, um, oh, and uh, also it must be that you, uh, you know, it tries to string together the best of math, science, uh, cultural studies, like social studies, and uh, stuff like that, but really engages people, and here's the bottom line opinion. It engages people to, thi cr to think critically. You know, you, you cover all the same sort of stuff that you might get in a philosophy of critical thinking class, and, but it must also be stressed that, th that, this, cla that this class should be there not only ju um, not just so people listen to opinions on stuff. And here's my, cri my, my critical point. The, um, they should be trained in the methodology of thinking and then attempt to work projects themselves where they actually do critically think about some of these issues. If they come to a different opinion because they notice a flaw in the traditional opinion, that might not be a bad idea. Um, one pivotal example of this was the fact that back when I was in philosophy of critical thinking, I actually took the time of going through a large chunk of sources and trying to deal with the skeptic believer effect to a certain extent in my first video, that was the Underwear Magician special part two that I also did for my philosophy class, um, that basically had, um, I basically was able to uh, open my prof's mind, and she's a, she's a bit more skeptical of ESP stuff, but I, after showing her quite a fair amount of pro-information, and also showing her the, um, the skeptical inquirer relevant articles, and you know, and pointing out the points of view on uh, you know on stuff like the skeptic labor effect, um, and she's she note that she's a philosophy prof of critical thinking who teaches ESP and stuff like that as pseudoscience. I opened her mind a bit more to the uh, possibility of ESP's existence. Of course, note myself, I'm kind of an agnostic there until the skeptic believer effect is dealt with. Um, you know, anywho, but basically you get my idea. The point is that um, if one is truly a critical thinker. One should not be just taking one's own prof's opinions for a word. One, and this is another thing I believe that we should also be training, actively question your teachers. And the only re well, except for science class, of course, because, uh, well, okay, maybe question them to double check for information or for, verif for, you know, for verification of what's going on in science class. But I mean, except for science and math, where there's pretty well a demonstrably right and a demonstrably wrong answer, Everywhere else, you should be questioning. You should always be questioning and asking because, you know, if we're to critically think in our society, we should not be automatically following, um, you know, the, the, the heads of skeptic organizations and stuff like that. We should be forging out on our own in these sort of general areas, trying to work new ways in. Because sooner or later, the heads are going to slip up, and if they start slipping up and we follow, automatically follow those exact same arguments, you know, we could caught, get caught off balance by somebody else who might either have a good piece of information or some good rhetoric skills and take us apart. See my previous video, The Skeptic Police, on this particular, re on, uh, 
for my particular reasoning on this to a certain extent. But anyway, the um, that's my answer, guys. Um, seriously, uh, presidential candidates put in critical thinking classes in the school system. We need them. Okay. The uh, new generation is not being trained well enough in critically thinking. Uh, there's still a lot of bigotry and stuff like that um, where I'm living. Seriously, do something, okay? Thanks.